गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर एज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेजरी कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी एंड टूडे वी आर गोन टू कवरिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो एंड दिस इज अ कंप्लीट डेडिकेटेड फॉरन एक्सचेंज वीडियो विच वी आर कवरिंग फॉर एक्सपोर्टर्स एंड इम्पोर्टर्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ना लेट इज गिव यू स्मॉल बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो डोनल्ड ट्रम्प इज अ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका एंड आई गिव इन राइटिंग एज्यूमिंग दिस इज अ पेपर आई कैन राइट साइन हेयर that 2017 would be the most interesting period for traders across the globe and we are going to be lose we are going to get gains and also we are going to lose both the impact here is that as 8th november 2016 when people got to know that the trump is turned out to be a president immediately the standard poor ftsc and majority of the indexes lost considerably and gold went up to 1350 now take it here 8th november 2015 gold went to 1350 dollar per ounce which is extremely high treasury consulting llp told everybody that this is a sell call this is sell position here some people followed and today which is not very far today is roughly 19th november from 8th to 19th this is the 11 11 11 and 12 days and today this is trading at 1204 per ounce now how much is the gap people earn people earn roughly 150 dollars per ounce this is our trading call this is our trading call and this is certainly is going to happen now as soon as this person turned out to be president a very unique thing has happened which i in my in my 10 years had not saw which is dollar index dxy or shortly known as usdx dollar index started trading at 101.32 this is very high believe me this is very high now there are variety of dollar index across the globe this is the dollar index which fed is publishing we have one dollar index which is given by bloomberg which is bb dxy bloomberg dollar index i'm not saying that if this is rising this will also rise because this comprises five currencies and bloomberg dollar index comprising multi currencies multi currencies another thing which we seriously need to consider post trump is directs and indirects now i am writing here i know that directs and indirect is having different definition but i am going to use different definition to direct pairs and indirect pairs i am referring to direct pairs where dollar is a base currency like dollar to philippines peso dollar to check crown dollar to cad dollar to romanian ron and many all directs are rising nowadays all directs are rising all interacts gbp dollar euro dollar aussie dollar and new zealand dollar all interacts are falling so all directs are rising and all interacts are falling in fact if you look at here euro then this particular gentleman is moving towards parity euro was 1.12 when trump and clinton were were voting and today this is 1.06 australian dollar is facing a very mileage of course because commodities are picking up Donald Trump being a real estate player already he is have his own own real estate empire and real estate would pick up if real estate would pick up and of course your so called uh, commodities will pick up and if commodities will pick up iron ore will pick up and other commodities pick up Aussie dollar would be would would be volatile so today Aussie dollar is trading at roughly 0.7456 per dollar so if you have 100 Aussie then you have roughly 74 and another great thing which is happening when it comes to asian currencies and this is very very much we need to take on and take on into consideration is philippine peso and indian rupee philippine peso philippine peso is trading at 49.76 
and Indian rupee is trading at 68.13. Now, Philippines peso 49.76 is extremely high. Politically speaking, Philippines now wants to want it to be a Chinese ally. That is clear. They are facing certain depreciation and no doubt that if dollar index would move up, then Philippines would, would, would also touch 50 because Philippines is one of the directs as compared to dollar. I may not be surprised that one week from now, I refer one week, one WK, that Philippines Visa will trade at 50. And one year premium will send take as 80 paisa. So your outright for one year would be 50.80. Now this is a good situation for Indian uh, IT industry and this is a bad situation for Indian IT industry. This is a good situation because they already have a lot of exposures of Philippines Visa. And they hedged this as 47, 47 and a half, 48 something. If Philippines visa will continue to be depreciated, then they are going to face losses in their forward contracts. Because majority of the IT companies do not don't, don't know how to take an option contract or how to take the swaps and all. Secondly, their future receivables will rise. But again, the I don't treat this as an opportunity, rather I will treat this as a threat. The reason here is I don't know that how future would perform. Because 2017, one fact is sure that it's going to be the most volatile year in the history of foreign exchange market. Being the first year of the Donald Trump and the first 100 days would be very important for any president and especially the most powerful president of the globe, which is USA. And on the other hand, the another Asian currency, Indian rupee is also facing a huge volatile. Now, if we look... Pre-Trump, uh, Indian rupee was between 63.30 to 64, uh, 60, sorry, 66.30 to 66.60. This was the band Indian rupee was maintaining. Sometimes here 10 pesa, sometimes here 10 pesa. Now this is at 68.13 right now. Exporters are very happy that it is going up, we will sell. But they tend to forget that they are also facing a mileage, which is the mileage of huge depreciation. As per the market, Indian rupee is expected to touch 72 by March 2017 and considering the fact that the only element of dollar in the Indian current account which is invisibles, invisible stands for software remittances plus the other FCRNA remittances people are getting. If invisibles hurt and it would hurt because oil is falling. The FCNA remittances the country is getting is reducing. The software remittances the country is getting is uh, is reducing. On the other hand, the interest rate are rising across the globe. Now, six months LIBOR is trading at 1.25%, which is very high, which is very high, exorbitantly high. In that regards, it would be in that regards more ECB would come. Now, more if more ECB would come. Then, then, the, then, the, then the thing would be very difficult for India. So, Indian net international investment position will, will downgrade. We don't have any idea that exactly the uh, the import cover ratio, how you know exactly uh, how uh, exactly where the import cover ratio is getting traded, but certainly we know. Uh, but certainly we know very well that the import cover ratio of U.S. Uh, of India is roughly ten months. So we have an advice for all exporters as well as importers who are in India having receivable in dollars specifically that you should that all exporters should not sell now rather they wait for 68.50 and all importers should try and cover at 67.80 because if you are thinking that INR will go to 66 or INR will go to you know because of the demonetization a huge amount of money has been flown into the bank the black money will come this would surely not happen so INR would, would move up INR will go to 68.50 on the other hand importers will importers should wait for 67.80 at the same time, before winding up this video, we would like to stress to our players that uh, you should use start using options. If you are still hedging using forward contracts, then it is simply a suicide because currency is going to be extremely volatile. I am not committing that if you eat that they, you cannot have the gains in the forward contract. You might end up with the gains, but that is that is not a guarantee. You might have the big there is a big probability of losses than of the gains. As simple as that. And another beautiful expect that it happened of the Donald Trump is a Japanese yen. Before Donald Trump, everybody was talking that Japanese is in a mess. 
this country is losing this country is extremely dependent upon quantity easing and everybody was saying that this country will the japanese yen will go to 98 in fact i was also having of the view that it will go to 98 just before donald trump and japanese yen when the kuroda said that there is more room of japanese yen and and uh, sorry there is more room for quantity easing in uh, in the economy of the of the you of the tokyo of the japanese it went to 105 i was very surprised at how did that happen but still still if that happened immediately on 8th november when trump turned out to be the president i remember that japanese yen was roughly 102 something and from 102 it went to 105 and now it is trading at 110 and if dollar index would continue to trade over 100 and or it will touch 103 or 102 and half then i may not be surprised that this will touch 120 also and if this would happen the traders would have a sell call here because one day or another japanese economy is scheduled to fall so in a nutshell market is going going very good donald trump is going to act uh, american president effective january 2017 till then obama administration to run the show for the us and i think that 2017 would be a year of directs it's not an year for indirects there is a reason behind that gbp is in a bad shape because of the bre exit and majority of the big british bank has already said that they will wind up their show from uk in 2017 euro not to mention I might be wrong here. Once I'm saying that, I read today. I read on the LinkedIn that uh, Barcelona, which is Spain, decided to go ahead with their own currency. I might be wrong here, or it might be a fake news on on LinkedIn. But this is what I read that Barcelona is going ahead with its own currency. If this would happen, this is the last nail in the coffin. Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar, they are not in a good shape. Yes, Aussie overnight interest rate is very good. which we are going to cover in the in the next video but at the same time we should not forget that they can lead the directs sorry they can lead the indirects they certainly need time to lead uh, indirects so today this is how the markets perform and we expect indian exporters to please have patience sell at 6850 and indian importers to buy at 6780 and rather than a huge dependent on a forward contract you should have a portfolio of forward options and option structures like range forward seagull and others this was for the day and uh, our contact is rahul.magan@treasuryconsulting.in and our website is www.treasuryconsulting.in you are most welcome to contact us anytime and we are very very pleased to share that we launched our online academy with our uh, with our uh, webinar partner with iq with this we are launching lot of courses and you are most welcome to join our courses now we have more than 13 courses on the board this is a weekend course if you have specific requirement we can schedule for weekdays also we have we are equipped with variety of softwares like thomson reuters bloomberg metatrader for uh, metatrader tally trader we are also equipped with softwares like idea spss minitab sas acl eserve so entire trainings would be software based and we are also very pleased to share that treasury consulting llp is launching the bosch games also the 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 simulation trading range games uh, uh, within the session so the bosch game is also on the way thank you and have a great time ahead